Hey there, Cameron from CameronPlumber.com here, um, and I'm going to show you how to use To Do. Uh, to Do is a really great task management app, uh, web app that I use uh, all the time to manage um, my personal, you know, tasks and things that I need to take care of. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the the basics and how uh, I use it in general. So as you can see here, it's at ToDo.com. Uh, this is the layout. It's uh, everything's uh, uh, by day, so you have a five-day uh, view right here, and you can put your tasks in um, each of these different days. Uh, there's also a someday maybe or someday um, category where you can put tasks that you can do um, at, uh, uh, in the future, um, and I'll show you how I, I specifically use that a little bit later. But first, on the basics. Um, the way to navigate is with these little arrows up here. So you have one for going back in the future and one for going or back in the you know in the past and then into the future with this arrow. So if you just click and you'll go back by one day in increments here. Uh, the arrow right below below this, the big one, you'll go back in time um, in five day increments. So let's keep going. And then the next one is called today and you just click that and you'll go right to the day that you're on so you can't really lose where you're at um, on the other side this does the same exact thing one day at a time five days and they have a little calendar or monthly view that you can click to specific days and it'll take you right there if you want to uh, look back in the past or if you want to go into the future you can just uh, go to the uh, whichever day that you like and so then I'll click, go back over here, click today, back to today. Um, so that's the basic navigation. Um, if you go into settings, there's a couple of things worth noting. So we have your, uh, it has your username, has your email, you can um, change your password, time zone, and there's um, two views, the wide view I have on right now and the skinny view. Uh, the skinny view really isn't worth doing, so I wouldn't even uh, worry putting putting on that setting at all. And then you can delete your account if you want to for some reason. So I'm just going to go back here. So the way I use this, um, the the I guess the day view, uh, the weekly view, is these are tasks that are essentially more urgent and that they have some sort of time constraint on them so they essentially need to be done as soon as possible or on the day that um, I have them so uh, for instance I have two tasks up here one is mail check to Costco to get um, to get some uh, um, contacts and you do that quickly because I'm running out I also need to buy Oktoberfest tickets because um, it, that's coming up next weekend so these are kind of right in my face all the time um, they're easy to review I want them right there more so than other uh, tasks that I have down below my someday um, lists so so just real quick how to uh, make a new task you just click on whichever dialog box here that you want and you can uh, just create it create a task call dentist whatever just call, hit that enter it um, you can uh, uh, reorder your tasks any way you want, really, just by hovering over it, either on um, the actual word, the text, which will have a cross out, or if to the side, it doesn't really matter. You can just drag it, hold and drag wherever you want to put it. To me, I don't really care about the, uh, the, the ordering, so it's not really that useful for me, but, but if you want to prioritize stuff, um, that's good for that. <clears throat> If uh, you did a task, you can just click on the text and it'll, um, it'll just cross it out for you right there. And every crossed out task will stay on that um, specific day. So let's say I call the dentist on you know today, Sunday. Um, that This task right here will stay right here. These other two tasks, if I don't cross them out, they'll keep on going and um, move over to the next day, into the next day, into the next day until they're crossed off. So it'll just keep on going like that. So 
and it just whenever you whenever you finish them, cross it off, and it'll stay there. Um. So yeah, if you want to undo a task that you you know say you didn't mean to to do this for some reason or you know whatever reason that you want to undo it, all you gotta do is just click it again, you know, and it'll be um, undone. You know, keep moving to the next day and the next day. If for some reason you just want to, you know, you did this task and then you just want to just get rid of it, you just want to just clean up the clutter or whatever, you can make sure it's crossed off and then see this little X over here? You just click that X and then it's gone. Um, yeah. So, um, let's say you put in this task and you want to edit it for some reason. All you have to do is just uh, click, hold, drag, Put it back up into the dialog, dialog box, and then you can make whatever changes you want, and you can just put it right back in there. So, of course, I don't want all that gibberish in there, so I'm just going to go up here, get rid of it, put it back in. Um, and some, you know, the, the, the columns right here for each day are pretty skinny, and so some, if you have a pretty long task um, with a lot of text, you won't be able to see it. For instance, this one, you can't can't really see everything I have here, um, but if you go over to these three little periods and just hover over, it'll expand it and you can see the whole task. So that's really useful. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that's the basic way um, to navigate and to use the, the calendar view. Now I'm going to go down to the someday view and I have uh, five lists here. They have five different columns and I kind of sorted them based on what kind of tasks are in each uh, list and these are essentially my next actions if you're familiar with GTD so these are things that I can do right now that can move project forward or just get a simple thing done um, so I have uh, five lists here I have an admin task list I have a list for waiting for uh, items, agenda items, and errands. I have a creative column, I have a reoccurring column, and I have a projects list. So essentially uh, for the admin stuff, that is, those are things that are uh, pretty low energy, uh, they don't really take a lot of thought to do. Um, a lot of the verbs that I'll have within these tasks, tasks are, you know, like call, or review, or look up, um, a lot of those ty types of tasks, these, I mean, the, essentially these are low energy tasks, they're easy to do, and I can just kind of cross them off, hence the name admin, so you know, administration, kind of life administration things you just have to do. Uh, for this column, I have uh, waiting for items, so those are things that I'm waiting for from somebody else or, or some other thing, I'm, I need some another piece of information. Um, to, to move it forward um, so I can take another action. So um, those are uh, shown by a, uh, so here's, a, here's an item. Um, so I'm waiting for LinkedIn to, um, to get back to me about a certain thing that I have a, I have a problem with my account. And I denote that by either you know a company, in this case, or a person's name, then a colon, and then what I'm waiting for. That's why I do that. And I kind of try to sort them a little bit. So I'm waiting for my dad on something, waiting for Google, and waiting for uh, ING Direct. All sort of different things that I can make sure that I'm tracking uh, what I'm waiting for appropriately. The other thing here I have is agenda, which are things I need to talk to people about, or just, yeah, yeah, basically talk to people about. And I, I denote that by an at symbol, and then the person's name, then what I need to talk to them about. So I have three things here. The last thing in this column, this list, are errands, just things I need to, to do outside the house. I need to um, you know, pick up groceries, I need to go to the bank, whatever. Uh, so I have three of them here, three different errands, and I denote those by a period, then where I need to go, and then need, what I need to get. And so that's that column. Uh, for the creative col column, these are like the really high energy tasks. That I really need to sit down and focus, and you know, have a good, uh, you know, a good hour to really complete most of the time, or just at, at least I need to really focus and not really have a lot of distraction. So, 
common themes here are, you know, drafting something, uh, 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 different kinds of reviewing. I, I mean, I have review and admin, but the review in this instance is really, uh, it's in, kind of in a writing context. So it's in, a, um, I'm creating something. That's maybe a good way to put it. And um, I'm creating something or I'm learning something. That's kind of the tasks that are in this column. Uh, so, for example, record to to do tutorial video. But that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I have to have distraction, I, no distractions. Um, I need to actually sit down and focus to actually do this task. And uh, so, hence, it's in the creative uh, category. Uh, for the other, the next one is recurring. So these are tasks that I'm always going to be doing. I always have to do. They're never going to really be complete, but they're all, all they're important things for me to do um, daily or weekly. So a uh, couple examples here are to practice guitar songs. Um, I, have a, I have a couple of different, uh, I have an, uh, a, a list of guitar songs in Evernote that I, I, I'm referencing here. Uh, work out, uh, read the certain book, a uh, couple of other different things. But yeah, these are always things that are they're they're uh, they're just ongoing or reoccurring, and then the last column here is a projects list. These are um, my active projects that uh, are 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 on my plate right now. Um, and a project in the GTD sense is anything that requires one uh, over one action, so two or more action steps to complete. Um, I try to keep my projects you know pretty high level, um, but uh, and not so small that. You know, you have to just track way too much stuff. But uh, these are, are my projects right now as things are. And so, yeah, this essentially is to-do. Um, this is how I used to do. If you guys have any questions, um, contact me. Um, I think this is a really good, great app, and uh, it's really helped me stay organized and get my stuff done. So, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.